So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how we can create a curtain using the blender that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you okay you don't need to think about much more how to do all simulations and these types of things what do you have to do all you have to just add one plane here or first of all you have to just go to your property bar and change the line as a view then you have to just go to edit mode of your uh, like plane and just subdivide twice and thrice okay up to you i'm just gonna subdivide at least 20 times so we have a good enough mesh for uh, creating a simulation all right after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna all right and after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select the top uh, faces of these uh, planes and i'll just change my uh, like origin point uh, as an active element and i'll just select this last one uh, what to see something like that now here you can see our uh, gizmo is uh, shifted into the last active selection then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna into my shape key and here i'm just gonna create a, a new shape key for first we just create a basis basis what it does exactly basis hold the basic shape of your mesh but second is the keys where you can just animate your vertices your edges your faces and it will record all the data whatever movement you will give during uh, into the edit mode that keys will store all the changes and things you will do uh, into in the edit mode okay so here you can see when what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna again edit mode of this uh, plane and i'll just scale this basically something like that and that's enough for me right now and here you can see when i'm just gonna exit from the edit mode so now we have uh, this kind of animation and that's so great by the way okay now i know that you guys are wondering oh, what's the reason behind to creating these uh, shape keys for creating a cloth so yeah this is a, a very uh, crucial and essential part for creating a quick cloth and great folds basically so for that now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add a, a one keyframe here to uh, like 30th frame and something like that and just here you can see we have a good animation here now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna again select the all vertices and i'll just add all those vertices into a one uh vertex group then i'll just add one uh, cloth simulation into this plane then after that i'm just gonna scroll it down and here i'm just gonna into my shape option here i'm just gonna select these uh, keys basically first of all then uh, what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna change the collusion quality two to three and we'll also increase the self collusion and after that what i'm gonna do we'll also change the cloth as a silk and now here we go guys and here you can see we have a, a perfect cloth here now here you can see right now we have a very low poly and we can't see any folds properly but here is the magic here you can see first of all what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna uh, set the self collusion little bit increase yeah object collusion and everything is fine now what i'm gonna do right now i'm just gonna add a subdivision surface modifier into this a plane and then i'm just gonna right click and do shade smooth and now if i'm just gonna play the animation now here you can see we have a good folds here and which is look nice by the way now here is a one mistake which is i have did from the beginning which is i have to avoid it now here you can see we have a beautiful folds and we don't have any issue by the way that's look great and the one more thing after completing your simulation what you have to do basically you have to just apply your all simulation into as a shape key now what will happen here you can see if i'm just gonna delete the whole animation here which is you are seeing basically i'm gonna delete all those keyframes and if i'm just go to my shape keys and here we have a okay here, here we have another keyframes which is holding the all simulation which is we have done by the cloth simulation and now doesn't matter you have a cloth simulation into your cloth or not now you have a shape key and you can just use anywhere 
that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something from this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys Thank you.